What is up everyone? This is Kay with Skywolf Cube Studios and today I thought we would take a look at Quick Magic AI. It's basically a mocap generation for animation data based on videos. And that's what all these are on their website at quickmagic.ai. You can go ahead and sign up and get a free account and you'll get a few V coins and you can spend them or earn more if you need it by sharing. So yesterday they reached out to me and I thought I would take a look to see what we can get. I did try this uh, not on this one, but I've tried it on some other platforms like Deep Motion and then before then it was Robococo. And another one that's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of the name of it, but everyone knows it. Radical. That's it. Uh, but I wasn't too impressed. But in the last year or two, it's this stuff has been getting really, really good. So I thought I would engage and try it again. And I actually have. So if I go over here to AI mocap. And... Actually, before we even do that, you could see this, and I'm going to show you my two projects. I decided to test it on two separate um, females because I have a project with a female character, and I kind of wanted to experiment just to see where I could go with it. So this first one's a dancer. The second one's a parkour. And I just basically clipped those and plugged it in and I just wanted to see what I could get with it. And as you can see here, it's actually really good. Like there's some hand problems, but that's actually not too bad. And then mine are done in FBX, so I can just click download. And it'll download that. You can see I already, already downloaded those, so I'm just going to cancel that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. They do recommend using Chrome browser. I am in Microsoft Edge. And let's go ahead and look at the parkour. So I got to rotate the camera because it's not really in place. But if I was going to make a parkour game with animations, that could take a while. And this literally took me like maybe five minutes to figure out and how to learn how to do. And you can play with, do some refining, but I feel like that's going to turn into another tutorial or something that we could work on. They do generally recommend using like a full body looking forward uh, and with like dark colors and a light background so that the character will stand out. But even so, um, the results are actually quite astounding. So how do you do this? Let's let's show you how. What I want to do is click on the AI mocap now. Um, first off, sign up and use my link. That will help me out. I'll drop it in the description of this video. And then after you signed up, you can go to this AI mocap. Uh, for free accounts, it has to be 30 seconds or le and less than 100 megabytes. So I'm going to click here, import, and let's try it on this jogger. And I kind of want to see what we get from a rear view. You know what? Um, let's try it on Wonder Woman. I did make a clip of Wonder Woman. The background kind of clashes a little bit, but I kind of want to see what will happen. I'm just trying different things. Uh, they do have a tutorial to walk you through this. They also have a YouTube channel. 
and you can check out that. The pricing is pretty affordable in my opinion. You got free, you got ten dollar plan, and you got a fifty dollar plan for a lot. Um, but anyways, so let's hop back over here, confirm, and it might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it's pretty simple. Basically, what it means right here by roll detection is you just gotta move like play it just a second so it can pick up on the video and then click the roll detection it's going to start detecting the output and then you're going to pick one of these formats that are supported and drag it onto and then you can choose how you want settings to for the export so confirm we got our box right here i don't know if the feed are going to pick up because of the fog so this might not work because you can see the box right here we can scrub through i am mostly just kind of experimenting with it just to see what is possible so we have the girl fbx they do have boy girl those are free and then if you want to use the mixamo unreal and other stuff or do stuff with your face then you can pay upgrade uh, but anyway let's go ahead and click just gonna go with the female and then click next i think it's because the fog is getting in the way kind of wish i could strip that out so let's try a different video let's try the other one with the runner that's generally not a good video i thought it'd be cool but apparently it doesn't like that one that's okay all right so here's the runner full body white background and she's got black on um just gonna play the video for a second just so it starts Let's scrub back to the beginning and roll detection. And basically what you're looking for is to make sure the detection box gets the body or whichever part you're trying to get the motion data from. That's the important part. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take the girl and drag her over here. And then now click the next step. We want full body because you can do upper body, hand, and face. I'm going to do the original. The camera's moving. Um, if she's just kind of standing still and the camera's still, um, then you can do static. And then the export is a girl. And this one's only going to cost me six V bucks, V coins. Um, my son plays Fortnite, so. That's why I have that stuck in my head. Uh, so let's click generate. And then you pretty much wait. Uh, it'll have this. And it usually takes, I want to say, I feel like these took about five minutes, roughly. Go to the bathroom, walk your dog. Boot up a Steam game for a few, then come back. And while we're waiting on that one, let's go ahead and take a look at this in Blender with two of the ones I've already downloaded. So all you have to do is unzip them. So here's the dancer, we've done that. And then just go to import. And I generally use a better FBX importer. It's the add-on that I strongly recommend. Um, but if you can't, then you should be fine with blenders. And you just need to go under the animation armature and then click automatic and then import that. And that, uh, all right, so 
port BX, and that's what happened because I didn't have anything selected. Let's go. Let's go to the dancer. Select that. Want the animation submit? That's checked by default, and just just do automatic bone, and then. We want to import that and looks okay as far as I can tell if you're not sure you can just go to the viewport display in front um, these bones are off and that's why I generally recommend using that other plugin because blunders a little finicky sometimes so I'm just going to redo this. Again, it might be OK, but maybe not. Um, let's go to BX, downloads, dancer. And just gonna leave all the defaults. Import. Let's see what we get. There the girl is. Let's go to skeleton viewport in front. And that's a proper skeleton. That's how it should look. That's why I strongly recommend that plugin to pull in your data properly with minimal issues. So, let's see here. We can see the animation is actually much longer or like 660. See. Let's just press play to see what we get. Look at that. That's just really, really awesome. Like, if I was doing some animating for a character, that could take a while. And we've done this literally based off a of video in a matter of minutes. That's a massive time saver. And really super impressive. Now the next question is, can we use this in Unreal Engine? Yeah, you can. Let's see what we get in Unreal Engine. So here I have a third person project. I'm not gonna overcomplicate this. All I'm gonna do is Go here and let's get the parkour girl. I'm just going to drag this, drop this right in. And then scroll down. And I'm going to leave all the defaults. I'm going to set the reference pose as zero and the rest of it I'm not too worried about, at least not for this demonstration. But let's just go ahead and import it. And then to test it out, what you want is the green one. Just drag that out. If the outfit's all weird, don't worry about it. it's fixable. Like she looks like a weird stone. <laughs> Lizard thing or something, I don't know. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and press play and see what we get. Like, it would require a little bit of cleanup. 
obviously doing that in Blender or before export and import would be better. But as you can see, the animation works just fine with that just the FBX. I don't have to pay to upgrade or anything. Uh, there is a little bit of the foot going through. Like, you can see it. Maybe. There it goes right there. Um, but that's still fixable with a little bit of elbow grease. It can even kind of improve that in Quick Magic with the 2D refinement. Or break up the video clips to create your animations. One thing I almost forgot about is let's just go ahead and see what we got with that runner. Let's hop back over here into Quick Magic Mocap. It might still be stuck like this, but all we have to do is refresh the page. And it may appear failed or a little glitchy. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and click on that, and it should open up. Let's see what we got. So the box seems to be tracking pretty good. And that's actually a really, really good running animation. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip up all these projects and you can get it on my Patreon if you want to access these files. Um, I appreciate your support. And if you're happy with your thing, just go ahead and download it or you can refine it if needed. Um, but anyway, so... There you go. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe. And use my referral link. That really will help me out. And I hope you enjoy using this to work on your awesome projects. Peace.